interesting off-screen moments in Naruto which did not get enough screen time and weren't explained well, and I find them really interesting and want to cover them one by one, but in order to do that, I need your support by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. I hope all of you have a great day. Now let's start the video. Compared to the other three great ninja wars, we have the least amount of information about this one, so let's start talking about what we actually know about it. The war started not long after the system of one shinobi village per country was established by the founding of the Hidden Leaf Village after the Warring States period during the war to try to maintain a balance of power. The first Hokage divided the Tailed Beast among the other five major villages when he began his peace talks with them. One of the biggest effects of this war was the fact that the first two Hokage, Hashirama and Tobirama, died in this war. We don't know a lot of things about Hashirama's death, but there are still several hints that we can use to determine when and how he died. We know that when the person is reanimated by Edo Tensei, they are revived in the state they were before dying. That's why Chiyo and Hiruzen were reanimated old and Nagato was reanimated with silver hair. Madara was a special case. Despite him dying very old, he was still revived young. That's because according to Kabuto, he modified his body. When Hashirama was revived, we could see that he was still in his mid-30s to 40s. He was not as old as Hiruzen or Chiyo and it automatically debunks the theory of him dying in old age. Another interesting thing about the revived Hashirama is that we can see that one of the armor plates are destroyed. We can see that he has three armor plates on the right side of his arm, while only two on the left side, which means it got destroyed during the battle. We don't know how they managed to defeat the first Hokage, and today I don't plan on talking about it, since it's the topic of another video. Hashirama's death in the first Ninja World War is also strengthened by the first Naruto data book, which is 100% canon. It is written by the Naruto creator, Masashi Kishimoto. According to it, Going back about 60 years from now, a shinobi with excelling power collected a great number of shinobi and established a new village. This shinobi was the first Hokage, the founder of the village hidden in the leaves. However, this was a time when the world was at war. At the same time, the village began to flourish. He lost his life. Tobirama Senju's first data book entry also gives us information about Hashirama's death. According to it, the second is the first's younger brother by blood, who inherited his brother's dying wish and was called Hokage after the first died. So due to that, we can clearly see that the first Hokage died in the first Shinobi World War, and Tobirama witnessed his death and later got the title of Hokage from his dying brother. However, just like Hashirama, the first Ninja World War was devastating for Tobirama as well, since, just like his brother, he also died in this war. However, unlike the first Hokage, we know much more about his final battle. We know that, like Hashirama before him, Tobirama tried to foster good relations with the other villages. He planned an alliance between Konoha and Kumogakure, but during a formal ceremony, he and the second Raikage were attacked by the Gold and Silver Brothers and left near death. During the first Shinobi World War, Team Tobirama, as well as Danzo Shimura, Torifu Akimichi, and Kagami Uchiha found themselves surrounded by Kumo's King Kaku forces. With no way for all of them to escape, Tobirama volunteered to act as a decoy in place of Hiruzen. As he departed, he passed the title of Hokage to Hiruzen before being killed by King Kaku. I have already made a video about how the Gold and Silver Brothers managed to defeat the second Hokage, so I won't talk much about it today. I recommend you watch that video. Link to the video will be in the description. So let's start talking about the other Kage who participated in the war. Let's start with Redo, the first Kaze Kage, who founded Tsunagakure in the Land of the Wind and has said to have gathered all the desert-dwelling shinobi under his control with his overwhelming power. During the first Shinobi World War, at the first ever meeting of all five Kage, he, accompanied by the future second Kazikage, Shaman, noted to his peers that they would not be acting simply based off of feelings and that their agreement was based on their distribution of the tailed beasts under Hashirama's control. Later in the meeting, he would reveal that Tsunagakure already had one of the tailed beasts and demanded other compensation, namely a portion of the Land of Fire's fertile land and 30% of whatever each nation had to pay for the tailed beasts. Though some argued that his demand was too high, he remained unwavering in his request. When threats of war were thrown around at the table and Hashirama beseeched them to cooperate, Rito appeared solemn at the Hokage's request. As with all of the Kazekage who came after him, Rito died an untimely death at the hands of assassins, a fate that a lot of people consider to stem from the lineage of Kazekage being cursed. However, it's unknown if he died in the war or not. The next one in our list is Ishikawa, who founded Iwagakure in the Land of Earth. In the anime, he was stated to be a member of the Kamizuru clan at the first meeting of the Five Kage during the First Shinobi World War. Ishikawa, accompanied by Mu, sat alongside the others, where he noted that he had come in good faith to endorse the meeting of the Five Kage, but noted that he would not sign so easily to the agreement. 
True to his words, he expressed outrage when the first Kazekage made a demand. In the anime, Ishikawa had a collection of sacred scrolls that contained secret techniques of his bug tamer arts, which at some point in time he hid even from his own clan. Though his capabilities remain largely unknown overall, as the founding Tuchikage, Ishikawa was undoubtedly a powerful shinobi. He was able to use Earth Release to make his body light enough to fly. The next is A, the first Raikage, who founded Kumogakure in the Land of Lightning. During his leadership in the early days of Kumogakure, after the Warring States period, A presumably sent the Gold and Silver Brothers to capture the Ninetales, a task at which they ultimately failed. He also gave land in the Valley of Clouds and Lightning to the Yotsuki clan in return for their loyalty. At the first meeting of the Five Kage during the First Shinobi World War, he was accompanied by the future Second Raikage, his longtime bodyguard. He sat alongside with the other Kage and told Hashirama that bowing to the other Kage was not a sign of a lasting leader. Before his death during the war, A would leave a strong moral mark related to his desire to protect Kumogakure and his bodyguard, whose long service and dedication earned him the nomination of his successor. And the last in our age list is Byakurin, who founded Kirigakure in the Land of Water. During the Warring States period after the formation of Kirigakure, Byakurin worked hard to establish the village as one of the five great shinobi countries. However, its governance was marked by limited interaction with other villages. Almost nothing is known about his power. The databook states that as the first Mizukage and the founder of Kirigakure, Byakurin was undoubtedly a powerful shinobi. He was hailed as a legendary shinobi who excelled in world wisdom. I assume that he was the creator of the seven legendary swords of the Hidden Mist, if not the creator, and I think he was at least a user of all of them since he had similar shark-like teeth just like all the other users of the seven legendary ninja swords. The main combating forces during this war were the five nations. Hashirama's first Kage summit where he divided the tailed beasts among the other nations as a means of balancing power and establishing a peace among them also established their participation in the war. It was one of the main reasons that started the first shinobi war in the first place. We also know that the war spilled into the next generation of Kage. Even the third and the second Mizukage were familiar with the second Tuchikage and the third Raikage, only not knowing the fourth Kazekage upon being resurrected. Their assumption that Tobirama was the caster of Edo Tensei bringing them back makes me think that Mu, the second Tsujikage, and Gengetsu, the second Mizukage, died before Tobirama's death, who died at the hands of the Kinkaku unit. Also, the fact that all the Kage knew the fact that Tobirama was the user of Edo Tensei makes me think that he had faced all of them at some point, where he may have used his version of Edo Tensei, which would be really cool to see, to be honest. Now let's talk about combatants and start the list with the Hidden Leaf. The two obvious main fighters from the Hidden Leaf were Hashirama and Tobirama, including the Escort Unit, which was an entire elite team under the leadership of the second Hokage Tobirama Senju, along with the members of Team Tobirama, Hiruzen Sarutobi, Koharu Utatane, and Homura Mitokado. The unit also included Danzo Shimura, Kagami Uchiha, and Torifu Akimichi. Beside them, Mito Uzumaki, Biwako Sarutobi, and Setsuna Uchiha were also presumably part of this war. A lot of you probably don't know about Setsuna Uchiha, but according to the third Naruto data book, he was a notable anarchist of the Uchiha clan who went against Tobirama's policies. On Tsunagakure's side, besides Rito and Shaman, I think Chiyo and Ebizo also participated in this war, given their ages and early records as Tsuna Shinobi. We all know how strong Chiyo was, but we don't know many things about Ebizo in the data book. It is written that, though little is known of his skills, it was stated that he was a strong, analytical mind that served him and Tsunagakure well during the previous Shinobi wars and even in his old age. When it comes to Kirigakure and Iwagakure, I can't think of anyone besides the first three Kage, who were Byakurin, Gengetsu Hoziki, the third Mizukage, Ishikawa, Mu, and Onoki. On Kumogakure's side, besides the three Raikage, Ginkaku, Kinkaku, and the Kinkaku Force also took part, in addition with Rashi and Blue B. The main known battles that happened in this war are Hashirama's final battle, Mu vs Gengetsu, and Tobirama vs Kinkaku and Ginkaku. The war forever impacted the ninja world. Many of the future strategies and tactics would be born here, the most notable of which is that the tailed beasts were formally distributed. The Hidden Leaf retained Kurama. Suna opted out of this sale, having sealed Shukaku in exchange for more funds from other nations and fertile land from the Land of Fire. Kirigakure gained the three-tailed Isobu and the six-tailed Saiken. Iwagakure gained the four-tailed Songoku and five-tailed Kokuo. Kumogakure gained the two-tailed Matatabi and the eight-tailed Gyuki. 
It should also be noted that the second Tsuchikage, Mu, had a policy of using underhanded tactics and attempted to steal the other Jinchiriki from their nations. Onoki would later adopt this style from his teacher as the third Tsuchikage. The war also saw the betrayal of the Gold and Silver Brothers against Kumogakure, launching a rebellion during a peace treaty between the second Hokage and the second Raikage during the era, setting back village relations for years. With the second Hokage's regime, resentment would begin to arise within the Uchiha clan over the lack of government representation and the creation of a military police force. This, in turn, would lead to Madara Uchiha gaining sympathizers years after exiling him from the clan, such as Setsuna Uchiha. Being the first notable global-scale conflict of multiple nations, the war took a lot of lives such as Hashirama Senju, the first Hokage, Tobirama Senju, the second Hokage, Presumably the rest of the first generation of Kage perished as well, namely Rito, Byakuren, Ishikawa, and Ei. Mu, the second Tsuchikage, also killed Gengetsu along with him. The attempted coup by the Kinkaku unit presumably also resulted in the death of the second Raikage as well. As you can see, a lot of interesting stuff happened in the first Shinobi World War, and I'm very disappointed that we never saw it. Anyway, I guess this is all for today. What do you guys think about this war? Write your opinions in the comments, like this video and subscribe to this channel for more. Astrojack out. Bye.